Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy CNC. Today we're going to do some 3D adaptive clearing with a ball end mill. We already designed a cool looking part, so let's get going. Okay, first, here's our part. We just want to set it up. We go to stock. We're going to turn the side stock off. Go back to setup. Click our XYZ and click the back left corner. We want to flip our Z and we want to get that XYZ coordinate back to the back left corner. I did have just a little bit of trouble here, but we eventually get it. There we go, X, Y, and Z all looking good. So we'll just touch off the stock there. We'll hit OK. So we got our crazy looking part that needs to be 3D adaptive cleared with a ball end mill. We'll add just a little bit of stock on top. The 20 thou, that works. So for a part like this, first thing you want to do Just do a simple facing pass. There we go, you use a three inch uh, face mill, 4,000 RPM, 40 inches a minute. Those are speeds and feeds I looked up uh, for our manufacturer's website. Always a good spot to look. So we type in our uh, inches per minute. We want to face it just so our ball end mill has a nice clean face to start with. So just in case your stock is a little bit jagged or extra rough on top. So we go to 3D Adaptive Clearing. We go to Select. We use our 3 it's end ball end mill. And we just type in some speeds and feeds we got off our manufacturer's website. Okay, we're still typing in our speeds and feeds here. That looks good, that looks good. Geometry, that looks good. It notices the stock. Optimal load, we'll go to 50 thou. Our stock to leave, we'll set it zero. We'll hit okay. We go back to speeds and feeds and we change our ramp feed rate to 30 inches a minute. We had it at 30N, which you know of course doesn't work. Now it's going to generate the toolpath. Now it's going to take a while here to generate the toolpath just because there's, there's a lot going on here. Now we set our optimal load to 50 thou. But you can set that to 10 thou, 100 thou, whatever you want to do, depending on if you want to rough it out, if you want to finish it, whatever works best for you. But this is just a quick overview of how to use the 3D adaptive clearing and how to basically surface your part. For instance, you could do a couple roughing passes with a very large optimal load and then one finished pass with a very small optimal load to give it a nice surface finish. But there we go. It created our tool paths. Now we're going to simulate it. So we'll just hit go. We'll watch all of our hard work here. There's our face mill doing a good job cleaning up that face. Here's our ball end mill. 50 thou optimal load, just going to work. We gotta set it to super speed and just watch it go. It's looking good. Now if we had it at regular speed, it'd probably take about 20 minutes to watch or so, you know, take forever, so that's looking good. And then you there you have it. 
there's our part all the 3d adaptive cleared all surfaced out again you can always uh, change your settings if you want to rough clear it out or finish clear it out it's looking good there's our tool path pretty crazy looking so there you go, there's a quick overview on how to do 3D adaptive clearing. Hope you guys can find some sort of use out of this tutorial and uh, be on the lookout for the next video. Thanks.